Here is my QLC Plus in a toolbox from the dollar store. We have a Pi Zero 2W. We have a little op amp that I wired up to two um, five pin XLR connectors. Um, I used this schematic from the QLC Plus forum, which I will put a link to. Um, pretty simple, uh, you need a MC3487. I got it from Mauser. And you also need a capacitor and some sort of project board. I use, I don't remember exactly what these were called. It was something cookie, you can kind of see the words there. Real small project boards just work for what I needed. And then I also have this USB hub that's micro USB. That's three USBs on the outside. It is powered. It also is a network adapter. So I have the LAN plugged in. Um, I'm running it headless. So I'm logged into the web interface here where you can do a fair amount of configuration if you need. Um, I can turn on the stage lights. I can turn off the house lights. That's all working. Sort of hard to see in the camera, but you get the idea. Um, and in here, if I go to the config tab, if you're not familiar with QLC, there's some um, basic config for where the universes get their output from. And in the system setup for this, you can set up a um, what project loads when you uh, boot the Raspberry Pi. So I have the one that I had built to test set up to auto boot. So when I plug it in, it just boots right up with this. So, also, uh, my plans are to get one of these Sparrow, maybe four or five channel MIDI controllers. I'm not 100% sure that will work with this, but I think I'm going to try it. Um, that way, on the sound booth desk, we can actually have a couple physical faders for lights, and um, I think that will just make things uh, very user-friendly. So, we're going to run this for a while, see how it works from what I've heard from other people. Uh, pretty robust and uh, reliable. So there we go. Pretty simple. I think um, just ballpark cost of this, um, the uh, under $200, um, probably more like $150 until um, you count all the little cables and um, USB adapter, uh, USB power brick, and the Pi, and the project board, and the op amp and the panel mount XLR connectors and just all the little gadgets. And also I did buy the $30 uh, QLC plus uh, Raspberry Pi image, which made things really easy. I loaded the image on the SD card. I booted it up and it took me a little while to figure out that I had to go into the um, Raspberry Pi config and turn on serial output for the gpio and once i did that it worked so very simple setup and we'll see how it works over time